how low is too low and what is the lowest tuned band in the world today we're gonna find out together what's up everyone andrew baina here and on this video i wanted to try something a little different and do like kind of a infotainment documentary style video channeling my inner finn mckenty if you will so basically the premise of this video is i'm going to take you on a journey of low tuned guitars we're going to be starting all the way at the beginning no not a six string guitar of course an eight string guitar in f sharp standard this is the standard tuning that comes on an eight string guitar by default which some would already say is too low but in my opinion this is just the beginning so if you're unfamiliar of the tuning of an eight string guitar it is f sharp standard so we got a low f sharp a b and then a standard six string so e a d g b e and throughout this video we're basically going to be taking that low f sharp down further and further until we find out who is the lowest tuned band of all time. Of course, the first band that most people will think of when they think of an eight string guitar is either Meshuga or After the Burial, but they actually tune a little bit lower than this. So we're gonna talk about them in just a little bit, but starting off at F sharp standard, there are definitely a few bands who use this tuning, whether they use an eight string guitar in standard or they tune down a seven string to a drop F sharp tuning or something like that. For example, Periphery with their song Stranger Things in F sharp standard. <laughs> But I think personally the most popular band at this point in time who uses an F sharp tuning is definitely my friends over in Spearbox. They use this tuning quite frequently on a seven string guitar in a drop F sharp fashion. They go a little bit lower than this occasionally, but this is probably their most common tuning. They use it all over the place, but my favorite example is one of their newest songs titled Jaded and one of the riffs sounds like this. And before we move on to tuning even lower, I just wanted to mention a fun fact that Limp Bizkit of all bands was actually one of the first to ever tune to F sharp. Wes Borland did a very weird thing on their super popular song Nookie where he had like a custom made four string guitar that's kind of a bass but not really and he tuned it all the way down to F sharp for Nookie. So weirdly enough, Limbiscuit actually went lower than Meshuggah before Meshuggah did. Now you know, are they the originators of Jin? You be the judge. Okay, next up we're gonna be tuning it down a half step to F. This is where we get into the Meshuggah and After the Burial section of the video. The first time that I personally ever heard a guitar that was this low ever was with After the Burial and their song Berserker. That whole rare form album from 2006 was my first introduction to low tuned eight string guitars. And I was pretty mind blown and it definitely got me stuck on this journey of tuning low. So much so that I even went as far as to customize and Ibanez Prestige 8 string to look as close as possible to Justin Lowe from After the Burials. Rest in peace to Justin Lowe, one of my biggest guitar idols of all time. A tuning that goes as low as F is also fairly popular with seven string users. Again, Spirit Box also uses a drop F tuning for certain songs like Blessed Be. Vilcharta also uses it for songs like Dagger and a few others. <laughs> But again, the most notable examples are definitely Meshuggah and After the Burial. Meshuggah started going this low as early as 2002, and probably the most famous example of that would be their song Rational Gaze. Interestingly enough, they actually did this before eight string guitars existed and they just drop tuned a seven string and then re-recorded it in 2006 once eight string started to become a thing. And to this day, Meshuggah uses F standard as probably their primary tuning across most of their songs. Of course, everyone's heard it in songs like Bleed or Demurge, but they still use it this day, even on their 2022 album with songs like The Abysmal Eye. Like I mentioned earlier, my personal favorite F band is After the Burial, since that was my introduction to low tuned eight string guitars. And I think a good example from them would be Cursing a Kenneton, or however you say that name. It sounds like this. Okay, moving down another semitone, we are now in E. So this is a full octave below a standard six string guitar, or if you wanna think of it a different way, it's the same octave as a standard four string bass guitar. Getting a little ridiculous, but this one is probably the most common low tuning, I would say personally. It's also the one that I use all the time 
for my band Carcosa, shameless self plug. I think that this tuning is very popular because it's incredibly easy to achieve. If you get an eight string guitar, all you have to do is detune one string. So it's basically like the drop D of eight string if you want to think of it that way. There are tons of bands who use this tuning. Some of my favorites are Chelsea Grin or Animals as Leaders, of course, who sound something like this. The most popular band who probably uses this tuning at this point in time is Sleep Token. They use it in a little bit different of a way where it's E, A, E, A, D, G, B, E. So again, standard six string tuning, but then the bottom three strings are detuned. So it's like a weird hybrid drop E thing. I don't know what you would call that. But yeah, they use that across their entire discography. As far as I'm aware, according to one of the Guitar Tech's interviews with Jackson, and then there's a handful of bands who also use some style of E tuning on baritone six string guitars. Two of the most notable examples of that would definitely be Humanity's Last Breath and Loathe. Humanity's Last Breath is one of my favorite bands as well as Loathe, so I'm obviously obsessed with these two bands. A really good example of this would be It's Yours from Loathe, or one of my other favorites, Tide from Humanity's Last Breath. Okay, moving down another semitone, we are now in D sharp, and guess what? It's time for Meshuga part two, baby. Meshuga is gonna pop up a bunch throughout this video, but they have used this tuning on a few different songs, again, dating all the way back to 2002 with their song Nebulous. This is basically just taking that low F string in F standard and just putting it in a drop tuning, so drop D sharp is a way you can think about it. Meshuga's used this occasionally through their discography, not that often, but Nebulous is the one that comes to mind first, and it's probably the first First time that attuning this low has ever happened as far as I know. And they still use this tuning occasionally to this day with some of their newer songs such as Armies of the Preposterous. I couldn't find too many examples of this tuning, but the other one that I wanted to mention here was Andrew Halschalt, who helped make the OST for Doom Eternal's DLC, The Ancient Gods. So if you're unfamiliar with the Doom video game, this was the expansion pack DLC that came out a little bit later. And this is an example of some of the music that Andrew Halschalt wrote for the Blood Swamps level. Okay, moving down another semitone, we are now in D. So again, a full octave lower than what your brain probably thinks of when you think of drop D. So a few of my fellow deathcore bands use this tuning, such as the homies in Awaken Providence or Enterprise Earth. Another band that comes to mind is Reflections. They started using this tuning around 2019 or 2020, and probably their most notable song that uses this tuning is their song From Nothing. Personally, the first time I ever heard a double drop D tuning, or however you want to call it, was definitely my friends over in Black Tongue. The first time I heard a guitar tune this low, it absolutely blew my mind back in 2013 or 2014. And the song that comes to mind right away is their song HCHC. Of course, we can't talk about this tuning without mentioning probably the most famous example of this tuning, which again, you guessed it, is the Doom Eternal OST, this time around from the original 2016 game written by Mick Gordon. And this is just the title theme from the game, which immediately hits you with that low D, and it sounds sick. Low D, it's an interesting way to phrase that. Anyways, here's how it sounds.
Okay, going down another semitone, we are now in the C sharp range. This is the standard tuning that comes on a nine string guitar. So again, we got F sharp standard up to the eighth string, and now we're adding in a ninth string with a C sharp. Of course, as you've noticed by now, you can achieve this tuning using any amount of strings as long as your scale length is baritone enough, but most people will probably think of a nine string guitar when they think of a low C sharp tuning. So this is definitely when this list is going to start getting a little bit more obscure and a little bit less known music. A few of the examples that I could think of were Deftones with their 2020 album Ohms. This was the first time that their guitarist used a nine string guitar on a few different songs. And then another band that uses nine string guitars fairly frequently, which might surprise some people, is actually Baby Metal. If you're unfamiliar with Baby Metal, they're kind of like, a J-pop influenced metal band, uh, obviously from Japan. And yeah, they have quite a few songs that are on a nine string, surprisingly. And honestly, whether you like them or not, I think it sounds sick. My favorite from them personally is their song Starlight, which could easily pass as an after the burial song if it wasn't for the vocals. And it sounds like this. Speaking of After the Burial, we cannot talk about C-sharp tuning without talking about them. Probably the most famous use of a C-sharp tuning is After the Burial song, A Wolf Amongst Ravens. Although this was originally recorded on an eight string guitar where they just threw in a really, really thick string on the eighth string. This is definitely the C-sharp riff that most people would have heard if you're into this kind of music. It sounds like this. But in my opinion, probably the biggest piece of media or at least most influential piece of media using a nine string guitar or C sharp tuning is definitely Justin Lowe's playthrough on Ibanez's channel showcasing the original prestige nine string guitar. Again, rest in peace to Justin Lowe, awesome guitarist. Here's a little clip of that. Moving down another half step, let's talk about C. So again, we're talking a whole octave below your brain's standard drop C tuning. There's not too many bands that use this tuning as well. The one that I personally think of the most would be Black Tongue again. Most of the time they use a drop D tuning on a baritone six string guitar, but every once in a while they like to spice it up and go even lower to drop C. My personal favorite song ever that uses this tuning is definitely Second Death from Black Tongue and it sounds like this. Moving down another semitone, like I said, we're only getting more and more obscure. I couldn't really find a band that primarily uses this tuning pretty much at all. Please let me know in the comments if you know one. But the two examples that came to mind for me were again, the Doom Eternal OST. There's a song on this in the uh, Metal Hell section of the game. I believe it's called Creatures of Necroval. Again, this one was composed by Mick Gordon and it sounds like this. And then the only other example I could think of is again, going back to one of my favorite bands, Loathe. They have a song called Heavy Is The Head. Oh God, I forgot the name, it's so long. They have a song called Heavy Is The Head That Falls With The Weight Of A Thousand Thoughts. Definitely had to look that up because I forgot the full song title. But anyways, they actually do something interesting where they keep their top five strings always in that weird drop A tuning and all they do is just take the low E string and just detune it to wherever they need to go. For this song in particular, they detune to that one string all the way down to B and it sounds like this. Moving down to A sharp, there's only a couple of examples here as well. The most well-known example of an A sharp tuning that's this low is probably from Darko US. It features two members who are either members of Chelsea Green or ex-members of Spite and Amir. They use this tuning pretty much all the time, which is a very strange tuning that I don't know all the notes of, but all I know is that the low note is definitely an A sharp. And here's an example of what that sounds like with their song, Insects. <laughs>
And then of course, it's Mashuga part three, baby. So we're going all the way back once again to 2002, which is crazy that Mashuga was tuning this low way back then. Literally, what is that, like 22 years ago? Crazy stuff. Anyways, like I mentioned earlier, originally they recorded this song with a seven string guitar that was tuned super, super low all the way down to A sharp, which again is more than an octave lower than a standard seven string guitar. So I don't really know how they pulled this off, but it sounds absolutely ridiculous. And you can hear that here. Moving on down to A, this section is basically just dedicated to Josh Travis. If you're unfamiliar with Josh Travis, he is the guitarist for bands such as the Tony Danza Tap Dance Extravaganza, Emir and Glass Cloud. He is one of the most well-known people who uses these crazy low tunings and I'm pretty sure was also a massive influence on Darko US and why they also use ridiculously low tunings because they were in a band together at some point in time, which is Amir, obviously. But yeah, Josh is known for using some really strange tunings and really low tunings. His tuning is, according to one of his videos, a, D, A, D, C sharp, C, G, G sharp, E. So it's really weird, especially around that middle section where notes are just dissonant from each other. If you've ever seen him play, you'll know exactly why though. This guy is a mad lad and one of my favorite guitarists. But yeah, anyways, Josh has used this tuning for both of his projects being a mirror and glass cloud. So one of the first examples that I can think of of hearing a guitar that was tuned this low was definitely Trapped Like Rats from Glass Cloud, which sounds like this. Or slightly more recently, Smokey from Amir, which sounds like this. There's a couple of other bands who tune this low. One of them is Fractalize, which I believe is a one man project that's heavily influenced by bands such as Humanity's Last Breath and Viljarta. As you can hear from this clip I'm about to show you, also ridiculously low like this. But apparently the first band to ever tune this low was actually a band called Admiral Angry. They were a little bit ahead of their time, so I wasn't as familiar with them, and I only started hearing about them recently when people like you commented them in my comments on other videos, which is really cool. Thank you for doing that and making me aware of them. But yeah, they actually released an album in 2009 where they did something quite interesting where apparently they had five string bass guitars that were converted into seven string guitars and then tuned down to drop A an octave down. So again, if you have a standard seven string, take that down an octave and then detune that low B to an A and that's what they're doing. I don't really have too much source material to, you know, show what that might have looked like other than this posting I saw on Reverb for, I guess, a fan of the project who custom made a replica of something that they might have used, which is very interesting, and they sound like this. Okay, and now we are on the final frontier. We are at G sharp. So this is the standard tuning for 10 string guitars, which is absolutely absurd. I personally had a 10 string guitar for a couple of years, which I got from Kevin at Said Too Much. Big shout out to him and his YouTube channel. And I personally struggled to make it sound good because of how ridiculously low tuned it was. So in my opinion, this is definitely the limit of how low you can tune something and still make it at least somewhat musical and audible. I couldn't really find examples of many bands that actually tuned this low. The only example that I could come across was actually one of my friend Trey Watson's old bands titled Carthage, and an example of that would be their song Years and Darkness. Ironically, they're not actually using a 10-string guitar, it's a 9-string guitar that was just tuned way down all the way to basically a drop G-sharp type tuning. Here's an example of what that sounds like. This is Carthage with Years and Darkness. <laughs> And that is where my research pretty much ended. I personally could not find any other band or any other artist who actually physically tuned lower than this. Past this point, the only other examples I could find were bands or artists who utilize pitch shifting. My band does this all the time as well. Humanity's Last Breath does it, which is basically what we based it off of unashamedly. But what they would basically do is use the tried and true whammy drop tune pedal or something equivalent to basically take their already low tuned guitars even lower. So I've heard this used 
all the way up to drop E and octave down. So again, an eight string guitar, detune that low string to E and then pitch shift that all the way down a full other octave. The Reflections also did this with an even further step in their drop detuning. And other than that, I don't think there's anything lower. If I'm wrong, I would love to be proven wrong in the comments below, so drop something if you know it. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I've never done a video like this before. If you liked it, please let me know because it might be interesting to pursue making more videos like this. I also wanna give a special shout out to my Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time. The perks that I normally, mm, the perks that I normally provide for Patreon don't really apply to this video, but if you're interested in guitar tabs, audio downloads, stems, or a shout out on the screen for most of my other videos. You can find all that over on my Patreon page, which is linked in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.